request that I give a demonstration of the Raptor control systems on the 1150R. Uh, hopefully you can see this. We'll hope the video turns out well. Uh, for the Raptor control system you actually have three stations. You have two control stations, one on each side of the truck and you have a wireless remote. On each of the two main stations, you have two different portions. You have the touchscreen control pad over here, which is multifunction, and I'll go over that in a minute. And then you have the boom and winch control section, uh, which is a joystick controller, multifunction, multi-axis, much like a uh, game control system. All right, let's start with the touchpad controls. Touchpad controls, uh, as I said, have multiple functions. From here, you can check your engine gauges. Uh, I have the engine shut off right now, but it shows your uh, battery voltage, your engine RPMs, your fuel level, uh, coolant temperature. Um, this is your back button down here also has your switch panel, main switch panel. You can control all of your lights and your PTO from here. You cannot turn the PTO on from here because obviously you have to have the clutch pushed in to uh, uh, turn the PTO on, but you can turn the PTO off from this screen. Uh, you can control the main light bar, auxiliary lights, which on this truck are the windshield lights, marker flashers, all of your work lights, etc. It also has a function where you can turn all lights on at the same time and all off. Again, you hit the back button here. Um, if you have a video camera set up into this system, you can actually record and play to uh, this station. I don't have that, I use my GoPro. Um, all right. The main control stations are the only place where you can control the outriggers, and it's the only place where you can free spool the winches. You cannot run the outriggers or free spool the winches from the wireless remote. Uh, that's for safety reasons. Um, let's go to the outrigger screen. You on on this, they've made it again very user friendly. You have a level front to rear and driver side to passenger side bubble level just like you would find at any construction site or any uh, homeowner's garage uh, you can run front outriggers up down in out you can run right side only outriggers front and rear you can run only one outrigger. If you want to run just the passenger side front, you can do that. It's whatever you select. If you want to do all at the same time, you highlight all at the same time, and you can go up, down, in, out, uh, whichever direction you want to go. Uh, but again, you use your levels to make sure you're leveled out. All right. Moving on to your next screen, which is the winch free spool. Again, you can choose each individual or all at the same time. Uh, when I start off, I usually start and free spool all of the winches, and it makes you confirm it. That way you don't push a free spool accidentally and drop a load. You don't ever want to do that. So they put the confirmation screen on there as an added safety factor. They want to know that you're certain that you want to release that winch cable. On this, I'm going to press yes because I want them all unlocked. By the same token, you can come back, you can lock each individual winch, or you can lock all of them. Now they're all locked. And again, you cannot unlock from the remote control. You can lock them. So if you unlock the winches here, 
the screen on the remote, which I'll, I'll fire it up and show you in a little bit. Uh, you can lock each individual winch. Uh, you can also change the winch speed, which is the next section here. Uh, you can change all of the winches on this. This is a five winch truck. Uh, two main winches, two turret winches, and a drag. And they are all two speed winches. From this screen, you can also control the engine idle, uh, slow or high, the uh, snail and the rabbit, and the pictorial. Uh, this is also where you have your house lock, and on the 1150R, the roller, you have a travel lock. The house lock keeps it from rotating. It will lock in the rear position, or it will lock in the 180 degrees pointing forward position for traveling down the road. Uh, when you hit the control button on the main control pad in the cab, it releases the house lock. Uh, to allow the boom to roll, you have to go to this screen on either of the two main control stations and hit the travel lock release. Otherwise, the boom will not roll back. Okay. And one of the most important screens, the load sensing screen. All right. This tells you many, many, many things. First of all, it tells you down here on the bottom left is the truck configuration. This is an 1150R with a four-stage front outrigger, three-stage rear. Up here gives you the numerics on your rotation, uh, the green being zero with your boom pointed backwards as it normally would, 180 degrees being pointed over the cap. Um, here it gives your boom extension when you're extending the boom out, gives your boom angle, uh, your clearance radius. The only thing that is adjustable on this screen is your parts of line. You can touch the parts of line and adjust it, and you'll see that the uh, capacities change just slightly at this position, anyway, whenever you change the parts of line. Uh, I keep mine on four parts because I keep both of my main line boom winches uh, with snatch blocks in them, so I have a four-part four-part line on my boom most of the time. Uh, it tells you the capacity. It has a load sensor that tells you what the weight is, and it also has a bar display telling you the percentage of the capacity that you're at. Uh, it's hard to show with it not running. Uh, right now it should be zero, but I do have a little bit of tension on the on the wire ropes, so uh, it's showing some some of the capacity being used there. All right, going back from the touch screen, we'll go over to the control pads. All right, as I said, this is much like a game control station. They are multi-axis, multi-function. These knobs also rotate. left joystick is your boom up, boom down, boom in, boom out, and the knob is for your rotate. Swing clockwise, counterclockwise, determining, uh, determined by which way you twist the knob. The right joystick is your main boom winches your white winch in, white winch out, blue winch in, blue winch out, and the twist on this is your travel for the rolling section of the boom. Roll it to the rear or roll it to the front. Now what's really cool about the Raptor control system is you can work multiple functions all at the same time. So if I want to boom up and boom in while I'm winching in on both winches I go diagonal up and to the right so that I'm booming in and booming up at the same time 
and I'm also bringing you both winches in at the same time. Uh, any of those configurations, you can do all of that at the same time. You can boom up while you're traveling the boom to the rear or to the front. You can rotate the boom while traveling it front and rear. You can rotate while bringing the winches up, down, uh, any number of things. Like, uh, like I said, it's a multi-function, multi-axis. Uh, these three in the center are standard toggles for the turret winches, these two, and the green is the drag winch. All right, that's the main control station overview. Um, of course, it does have the emergency kill button here, so in the horrific event that something should go terribly wrong, you can kill the truck by hitting the emergency stop. Uh, sorry, one more thing you do have right here, touchpad for the uh, wheel lift. It also has its own separate uh, remote, but all of the Miller products have very similar wheel lift under each remote. All right, so now, onto the wireless. Sorry, it's a little dirty. We had a uh, big job yesterday. We did, and I haven't had a chance to clean it back up yet. All right, you power the screen up, and it's going to make you go through a boot up process to where it makes communications with the vehicle. It links up via a radio frequency that is strictly with this truck. It has to be synced with a control module inside the truck. I've had to do it myself, so I know what I'm talking about there. Okay, this is very similar in function to your main control screen. Uh, you have the soft buttons, which right now I'm on the load screen, which is your scales, gives you the load screen. Uh, as I stated earlier, there's your winch speeds, and here's your free spool. Now, you notice that they are locked. It will not allow me to unlock any of the winches. You hit the free spool again, and it goes on to the drag winch because it's only got four winches there. It will not allow me to unlock them. However, if they were unlocked from the main control station, I could lock them from the wireless remote. Okay. Those are the main functions of the uh, display screen and the soft buttons. And then these joystick controls and paddles are identical in function and form to the main control station. So once you get used to it on any of the control stations, you can handle it with the remote or the control stations and they feel identical. just asking me to verify the link up. Uh, but you'll see that it also, once it is connected and linked, it shows me the same information as the load screen on the main control station. Just in a little different format, but it still shows me the same information. Uh, personally, I love having the remote available so that I can stand back and watch what my truck's doing, watch what the casualty's doing, uh, watch what my boom's doing, being able to watch the entire job at a distance. Uh, you know, the old days of the home 750, you leaning into the truck and you feel what the truck feels. Um, those days, unfortunately, you know, well, not unfortunately, fortunately they have progressed and we've gotten to a much better place, much safer place. and. Uh, Part of that is, I believe, in this Raptor control system, which I absolutely love. They have had some electronics issues, but uh, Miller has taken care of it. Uh, every time we've had an issue, they have taken care of it uh, very, very quickly, so cannot complain about that whatsoever. Uh, this is actually a new remote control. Uh, we have all new modules and load sensing modules that uh, have just been recently replaced. Uh, Miller sent us all of it free of charge, uh, so have no complaints there. All right, there is a rundown of the Raptor control systems. If you have any other uh, suggestions on videos you'd like to 
have me do. Uh, any other functions of the truck, uh, something specific that you want to see on video, please let me know. Uh, send me a little note and I'll try to accommodate if I can. Thank you all very much for watching. God bless.